Shalom, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham Rechach Wadash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai is the name of the Son. And the Rechach Wadash is the Holy Spirit. Double honor to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and the Torah is the truth. Several days to all this to say, Achim out there, they be doing the work, man. They are going out on the highways and hedges to prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom, you know, and to tell our and to tell our people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, that they are the true Hebrew Israelites that the Bible speaks of, man. You know, we are not a bunch of bywords, as these devils have uh, placed upon us. You know, we are not black. We are different shades of brown. You know, if you, a lot of people, they have, uh, you know, when they check out their clothing, they have black coats on. But yet, they fail to understand that their skin it's not the same color as their their, their jacket. Or for instance, uh, their skin is not the same color as uh, the background that you see right now. You know, that is black. Black is a very negative vibration that these devils have placed upon us. And, you know, they call themselves white because white stands for pureness and black stands for basically for neg negativity, man. You know, you're getting blackballed and uh, in the Netherlands you have, uh, when you go... Uh, you have uh, money under the table. They call that Zwart uh, Geld, basically black money, you know? And uh, black means void of light. And we are supposed to be walking in the light, according to the scriptures. The light that the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through His Son, Yahweh, shines, uh, shines upon us, man. So we know, so that we know in, in what direction we should go and in what direction we shouldn't go. So, and these devils, the so-called white man, you know, they are Esau. Esau is Edom. And they are the ones that are ruling right now in total wickedness, man. But our Lord Yahweh Shai is coming back to save his elect. Because a lot of our people, you know, from the Chal tribes, the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans spread around the four corners of the earth. Not everyone is going to make it, man. You know? But I wanted to make a quick video because, you know, we have many enemies. Because outside of our nation, Yashallah, and that is um, really the name of, of Jacob, his name was changed to Yashallah. And everyone that is outside of the child tribes, you know, is our enemy, man. That's just how it is. They are all confederate against us, according to uh, Psalm 83. So they might seem to be so called nice. In um, you know when they uh, speak with you, of course the scriptures also say if you are you know at your job or whatever, it, the scriptures say uh, uh, as much as is laid in you, you know, uh, you know trying to be at uh, be at peace with all men, you know. So don't start uh, to to cuss them out at your job or at school, because <laughs> this is part of our punishment, and you might lose your job and you need to pay your bills. So you need to be wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. You know, so be wise as, uh, as uh, and, and uh, very uh, basically circumspect of your surroundings, and you know, don't be all hostile and uh, and and, and uh, violent, because you might end up in jail and losing uh, your house, and you need to take care of yourself or and, and your family. You know, so here you see the table of nations, and you see that outside of Yashar, man, all these other nations. From the so-called white man, Edom, you know, other one, other one means red, and you know, Esau is the forefather of these people, and I, his name is Ashashua. Wasted away is he, because you know, you see the blood through the skin, they have a lack of pigment. So, you see here, there's all these uh, people that are outside of our nation. <laughs> they don't matter. They're like a, like a, a drop that falleth from a vessel, as the scriptures say, man. They're like spittle. You're not gonna wear, uh, wear uh, you're not gonna be worried about, or uh, you're not gonna be stressed out about, you know, uh, when you spit on the floor and you'll be like, you, you ain't gonna think about that. That's how the most I views these uh, other nations, man. He's only for his own nation, you know. But I wanted to jump into a few things in the in the in the blue letter Bible, man, because these people, and among our people also, are found wicked men, but. You have the devil trying to trap us up and, you know, they trying to keep us in a state of being the valley of the dry bones. 
but really through the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yom Shai, you know, we are waking up, you know. And if you see there's a, there's a lot of things happening, uh, you know, with Jake, man. I just uh, watched a couple of videos of, uh, you know, Jake being in the music industry and basically the entertainment in industry, and they are very miserable, you know. So that also, you know, making that fast money on the streets and doing all types of wickedness, you should not be doing that, man. That's like a trap. And I wanted to go into that, uh, you know, into that uh, word trap or snare, you know, because that is really what um, our people are being caught up by, uh, uh, caught up by, man. So Proverbs 1 and 10, my son, if sin is enticed thee, consent thou not. So if you are being enticed, lured into doing something uh, wicked, you know, let me get into the word. Don't go uh, ahead with it, man. You need to be very careful of what you are, uh, uh, you know, doing. You know, yes, and to be simple, entice, deceive, because that's what you are being uh, uh, at that moment. You're being deceived. Uh, you have to be open-minded. For us, we have, you know, uh, basically tunnel vision straight to the kingdom, man. Y'all are the man. You know, we, we are walking on that uh, narrow path, man. That's uh, we want to enter, you know, in, into that. Um, you know, we walking on the straight gate. We are not walking on the Broadway, man. And these devils, they call their uh, their entertainment uh, one part of their entertainment uh, industry uh, uh, Broadway. You know, where they have their plays and uh, all types of uh, basically acting. And the acting is really lying, man. <laughs> if you think about it, they're great liars, a bunch of hypocrites, you know, doing things that they uh, basically showing themselves uh, as uh, such, uh, like they have their roles in the movie, but in real life, they're really, really different. And they have a lot of them are a bunch of sodomites, man, because they have to do those rituals and hey. That's how they uh, stay up there, man, and be, you know, so-called relevant in this uh, world, man. So back in uh, this, in this world, uh, in this uh, world, in this uh, word, <laughs> um, you know, to be enticed, to be deceived, man, and to be gullible. You shouldn't be, you know, the simple believe in everything, man. You know, and that's something that's very dangerous. You shouldn't be uh, in that mind state. You should be, you know very cautious of uh, what's going on around and about you. You know, you see um, in primitive to open, i.e. to be uh, constantly make roomy, usually figuratively in a mental or moral sense, to be uh, constantly made uh, simple or in a sinister way and delude, allure, deceive, enlarge, entice, flatter, persuade, you know, silly one. So that's what these... Uh, demons are doing man so verse 11 if they say come with us let us lay wait for blood let us lurk uh, privately for the innocent without cause so if they like hey man i got this scheme man you know let's go and you know how jake roll man you know they're always uh scheming but these devils they're the master schemers man because they are the wicked from the jump as soon as they be born speaking lies, they are the border of wickedness, according to Malachi 1 and 4, you know, and they follow after Satan, man, Second Thessalonians 2 and 8 on down, you know, and we read Ephesians, the second chapter, the first uh, two verses, they follow the prince of the, uh, the power of the air, they follow after sin, uh, Satan, man, they are the children of disobedience, you know, these Edomites, man. The so-called white man. That's why I see 666 everywhere and they put it in their barcodes. They put it in, uh, you know, uh, a lot of their uh, their movies and, you know, their government buildings have uh, have obelisks or, you know, all types of uh, symbolism, skulls, you know, goat skulls and all types of things, man. So it's already showing you their spirit. Verse 11, if they say, come with us, let us, uh, verse 12, uh, let us swallow them up alive as the grave and whole as those that go down into the pit. So this is a bloodthirsty uh, mentality, man. You know, 
just to uh, be out there and, and not even giving a damn about other people's lives just so that they can get some uh, gain. And that's a, that's a true devil out uh, for you, man. Who shall find, uh, we shall find all precious substance. We shall fill our houses with spoil. You know, they're all out there for that, uh, for that bag, basically, man. Cast in thy lot among us. Let us all have one purse. So they're like, you know what? Casting lots is like everyone gets a, gets like a stick. And, you know, that's how you cast your lots. The one that has the, the, the or the shortest or the longest, uh, you know, gets a certain uh, reward. You know, or you get them, everyone gets a number and someone draws a number. Let's say uh, you have number seven and the one that has number seven that gets, uh, you know, that has that's the winning uh, uh, lot, basically. That's how these people um, uh, roll, man. So they, these demonic people be like, hey, come with us, man. Don't be with the righteous, man. Come on with us. Let us all have one purse. This is a big reward, man. We're going to split this bag because that's what a purse goes into, man. A purse goes into, you know, something that um, where money is being kept. So, you see a purse for weights, money. Here you see uh, a form for age 35-63. A cup, also a bag for money and weights. Bag, cup, purse, you see? So, there it goes into something, uh, something else. Yeah. Um, from an unused root meaning to hold together. So basically that is it, that, that's what it is, a cup as a container, often figuratively a lot as if a portion, also some unclean bird, probably an owl, perhaps from the cup-like uh, cavity of his eye, cup, small owl. So you see that it is uh, 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 like a, a vessel to hold something. So as we continue, um, Verse 15, my son, walk not thou in the way with them. Refrain thy foot from their path. So you need to be like, really uh, stay away from people like this, man. Why? For their feet run to evil and make haste to shed blood. So they don't hes hesitate to, to put someone, uh, someone to death, man, to murder. You know, surely in vain the net is spread in the sight of any bird and they lay wait for their own blood they lurk privately for their own lives so the most i has them in the trick bag man because these uh, people they cast the net and the net is something to uh to to uh, catch something man in the sight of any bird so this is what uh these uh, devils also are doing man they spreading their net for the 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 basically for the fatherless and the widows for our people you know here you go to the net for catching of judgment of leaders uh, leading people to sin as a trap for man. You know, and also goes into for catching animals. And it, it spread, you know, they cast it and, you know, dispersed, so they, they spread it. of any bird and this really goes into also for men it goes to the word Baal which is Lord owner husband he is citizen inhabitants rulers lords so you see that it's also speaking about here as it says about a man you know so it's uh, basically uh, in a spoken in a, in a in a parable so these people are out there to catch men. But the most high, he, he, he's saying like, hey, these people are, are, are scheming on my people, basically. But they really, they really walking in, into their own trap because the most high is going to catch them in their own traps. He's going to catch them with their own uh, trap, man. So are the ways of everyone that is greedy of gain, which take it away the life of the owners thereof. You know, so... What are these uh, devils doing? If you you take a look at the, what Esau's doing, they lie and wait for uh, for for our blood. They're they're waiting to catch us, the Israelites, because they want their houses to continue forever, and that's in their spirit, according to Psalm 
49 and 11. But they also wanted to get rid of us according to Genesis 27 and 41. You know, because Esau, he made a vow to slay his brother Jacob. And Jacob is the progenitor of the 12 tribes, which represents the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. So that's really what it is. This Esau versus Jacob, the so-called white man versus the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, you know, because we held fast the heel of these devils, you know, basically, if you take a look at what uh, Jacob was doing, he held fast the, the, the heel of Esau, which represents the downfall of us taking these devils down through the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahushai, according to promise also, you know, because the coming world is our world. This world is created for our sakes. As second as the six and seven also uh, states, you know, this is our world, but because of disobedience, we are put as the tail, as the lowest. You know, we are the ones that take loans and not give loans. But that's going to change, man. And we're going to have these devils in total subjection to the power of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. But let me go to the book of Psalms to clarify something. Uh, this is Psalms um, chapter uh, 9. Let me see. Because, you know, these um, devils, you know, they set, uh, they set traps, right? Let me see. Let me go to Psalms 9, verse 15. The heathen are sunk down in the pit that they made. In the net which they hid is their own foot taken. So these people set traps, you know, the heathen for our people. You know, dig holes in and everything. But what what's gonna happen? They're gonna, you know, fall into their own in their, into their own pit, man. Because that is what's um, what what is the, that's their future. Because they're sending traps for us. But through the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, you know, we're gonna get out of these uh, snares and jinns. You know, and the jinn is uh, also uh, a bird trap. Because if you go to uh, let me see. Now something else here. Bear with me for a moment. Let me see. So I wanted to also show this because you know this is a, a gin or a snare. And with this, this is basically in the spirit what these devils are doing. So Jake be walking around without being circumspect, and that's how they, they catch you, man. Through the spirit also, coming with, with all types of, uh, you know, um, traps to lure you in to certain things. Let me see. And that is a trap onto your, onto your soul. and Because these devils, they want you to be in their prison system, man. Don't forget that. They don't want you to be out there. They want you to be slaves in their prison system because that's what they are all about because through the 13th amendment they can have slaves because that's still allowed it's not abolished because if someone is uh serving a sentence they can still put you in slavery according to their laws so um let me just continue here psalm 9 verse um uh, uh, 16, the Lord, Yahweh, is known by, by the judgment which he executed. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands, Higayon. You know, Higayon is like part of uh, when, you, when you end a song. You know, it's, it's like a really pleasant, uh, you know, basically uh, a, a pleasant uh, sound. You know, he is uh, resounding music, musing, resounding music. And if you hear, it goes into, um, it can also be a murmuring sound, i.e. musical notation. And that's what's basically what it is, a musical notation. Probably similar to the modern 
uh, a virtuoso to indicate some solemnity, solemnity, whoa, tongue twister, of movement by implication of uh, imagination, device, hegion. So, a solemn sound. Let me just, um, yeah, the sound of when a harp is struck. No, you get the point. It's basically a song, the, the songs. But, um, so this is music unto our ears, man, when, when these devils are being caught in their own work. Is snare, you know, and here the word snare goes into Nakash, it goes to knock, strike, bring down. You know, that's what they are to be ensnared, that's what they are gonna be, man, in literal sense. Here it says, uh, a primitive root to entrap with a noose, like you saw with the bird, literally or figuratively, catch, lay a snare. You see, but because the word snare goes into trap, and the word chin also you know, all, all goes into traps or bird traps, you know? So it's, it's figuratively or literally, because they are catching souls of men. That's also, they, 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 they lie wait for the children of Israel. Let me go to uh, Psalm 10, verse 1. Why standest thou afar off? O Yahweh, why hidest thou thyself in times of trouble? It's because this is uh, like showing you that the Most High, He allows certain things to happen. So, He see a prayer that wherein is asked, Why standest thou afar off? Why are you allowing this, O Yahweh? You know, because we are in trouble. And why? Because the wicked in his pride do it persecute the poor, let them be taken in the devices which uh, that they have imagined. So let them be taken in the devices which uh, they have. And the device is uh, uh, like a, a plan, a master plan, or, or you know, a, you see a purpose, device, a plot. And if you jump down to the strongest definitions, it goes to H2161, a plan usually evil, a mass, a, machina a mass machination. That's also what we just read in Psalm uh, you know, uh, 9. Sometimes good, sagacity. It goes into also wicked, device, discretion, intent, witty, invention, lewdness, mischievous device, thought wickedly, and they come up with mis mischievous devices. You know, which they are not able to uh, perform, the New World Order. If you go to Psalm 21 and 11, it speaks about that, that they uh, came up with a mischievous device, a wicked, uh, basically, plan. And that's their the NWO, the New World Order, which they are not able to you know, uh, accomplish. Because through the spirit and power of the Heavenly Father, they will not be able to do so. Let me jump to... Uh, Psalm 141 to Jeremiah 5 and uh, 26. For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that set its snares. They set a trap. They catch men. As a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Because through their wicked plans, you know, deceitful plans, through deceit, they catch men. Hey man, we got uh, something for you out there. If you just do this and this and that, like in the industry, all you have to do is go to this party, man. Don't worry about all the things, man, that you have to do. You know, you have a bright future in front of you, son. You know, just go with it and, you know, don't worry about it, man. Think about your family. That's a, that's a filthy, filthy snare, man, that they lay uh, there in front of you. And they make it seem like it's something beautiful. Because you can take care of your family, you're going to get that bag, you know. You're going to split that purse, man. You know? Oh, you're a Christian, don't worry about that, man. You know? You're taking care of your family. That's something that, that the Bible is, isn't against, right? So they can, can, can come with a very deceitful and enticing uh, device, a plan, to get you into their uh, wicked uh, hands, man. They set a snare. That's how they catch men. You know, like they catch, uh, like uh, the people catch birds. That's how they out there for your spirit, man, for your soul. 
you know? So, let me just jump back. Uh, and here is Lachia to end this. Therefore, they have become great and waxing rich through their deceit. So, but the, the ways of the, uh, of the, um, how did the, the scripture said said that? The ways of the wicked seduce the, the righteous, basically, man. Because they are being enticed to follow after the ways of the, of the devil. But we need to refrain our feet from walking on their path because their path is leading into destruction, into death. Because in the kingdom, there's no uh, place for liars, for, for deceivers, because that's in the law, man. And thou shalt not uh, defraud thy neighbor, no, neither lie. So they trapping you up into being an adulterer. You know, I can love you better and uh, you know, all types of other stuff that they say. You know, you should leave your man and come with me. You know, he ain't taking care of you. That's adultery, man. What the most I've put together, you know, no man uh, should uh, basically uh, break that up, man. So roughly paraphrase that, that scripture to butcher it. But you know what I'm saying, Yara, this is our Lord willing. So back in, uh, in the book of Psalms, Psalms 141, verse 9. Keep me from the snares which they have laid uh, for me and the gins of the workers of iniquity. So the, the workers of iniquity are, 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 you know, people that sin upon sin upon sin. That, that, that stacks in, basically, man, you know, and the devil, the so-called white man, is all about that, man, he's all, oh, he's contrary to the heavenly father, that was, uh, that is what the word devil means, and in the Greek, it means diablos, and it goes into one that opposes the heavenly father, and chooses to side with Satan, the adversary, you know, that's why they, their, their works are after the, the, the prince of the power of the air, after Satan, let the wicked fall into their own nets, whilst that I will all escape. So that's something that, you know, that that shows you that we need Yahweh Basham Yahushai. You cannot do this by yourself. This is a prayer into the heavenly, into the heavenly Father to ask for mercy to escape all the troubles that are around and about us, man. You see, if I'm correct, uh, something I can look up. Some more. Um, here's Psalm 119 and 110. The wicked have laid a snare for me, yet I erred not from thy precepts, because we need to shun wickedness, man. Abstain from all appearance of uh, evil, of, of, or, or abstain from evil. You know, we need to stay away from that. Psalm 124 and 7, our souls escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we are escaped. So they, they might have us now in, 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 uh, you know, in this wicked system. You know, our mind was in that, in the, in, in the world. But through the spirit of the Heavenly Father, we are out in an in, in escape, man. And we are walking in light, Yahweh Tazah, man. And a fowler, let me just look that up. And it's funny because, yeah, the, the, you have a football, a soccer player called Fowler, man. This is a trapper, man. A person who hunts wild fowl. A fowl is a, is a, is a, is an old way of saying, uh, basically, a, a bird. The fowls of the air that represents the, the birds flying. You see, follow definition, a hunter of birds. And the funny thing is the position of that foot, uh, football player, the soccer player, was a striker. Basically, uh, you can compare that with uh, hunting. But because you're in, uh, in the front to, uh, you know, to score goals, etc., etc. I was hunting for, for, for that, uh, basically, for that purse, for that goal. So basically, yeah, man. Um, there's a lot of a lot of things you can go to, but here, you know, you see also 
you know, snare can also be something spiritual, you know, in, in your mind. You know, the fear of man is Proverbs 29 and 25. The fear of man bring it a snare. But whoso put it his trust in the Lord, Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai, shall be safe. So the fear of man bring it, you know, that, that, that brings uh, traps and all things you can stumble uh, by in your life. You know, you should fear Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai, because if you fear man, you're going to do the will of man. But we should fear Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai. Like the scriptures say, we, you rather fall into the hands of the living power, man. Like in the book of Sirach, in the, in the end. You know, so with that, hope you were edified and you are to the next video. Shalom.